Hey guys, welcome to a new video where we're going to show you how you can integrate with S3 storage. So this works with all main S3 storage providers like AWS. We are going to show you how you can do this inside of Backblaze, which is a free option as well. So I believe up to 10 gigabytes of free online cloud storage is available to you. So to go towards the S3 storage, as you can see here, we can go towards integrations and from integrations, we can scroll down until we see S3 storage. You will then come towards this overview and here we will need to fill in a few things in order to connect to our, basically our cloud storage, right? So if I go towards the cloud storage buckets, this is what you will see, which is completely empty when creating your account. So just go to B cloud, uh, B2 cloud storage, sign up, and then you will get inside of this overview. Here we will need to create a bucket. So first we're going to create a bucket, which basically is a storage space. So let's say this bucket unique name would be my personal branding name. So let's just go with CMA. Important is that you will need to put the files in the bucket to public. Otherwise, you will not be able to access them through uh, UChat itself. So let's do that as well. Then for the default encryption and the object lock, we will both leave them at disabled. We can now go with create a bucket. There we go. Oh, and the bucket name must be at least six characters long. So let's just go with CMA and then membership. So let's say create a bucket. There we go. We now have our storage bucket, basically where we can upload the files to. So we will need a few things in order to integrate. First of all, we will need this endpoint of the bucket. So we can just go with this one. Just say copy and then paste it directly inside of the endpoint inside of the UJet interface. So we can just put in manually HTTPS because this is important. And then we can just copy and paste the endpoint. Then we will need a key, secret key. We will need a bucket name and the region. So in order to get all of these, we can go towards the cloud storage. We can go towards application keys. From here, you will see that you will have a master application key, but we are going to create a new application key. Just press the button and we can name it whatever we want to. So for me, this will just be UChat. And then I will just say uh, which workspace, uh, let's say this is my UChat Omnichannel workspace. It is important that we allow access to the bucket to all and that we have the type of access read and write. The prefix and the duration, we will leave just blank because those are optional and not needed in creating this key. We can now press the button create new key. You will see that you will get a key ID, so we can copy and paste this. So we can just go towards the key section inside the integration. And now for the secret, it's not as obvious, but we need the application key for this. So if we say copy and paste this in, we should be good to go. Then we need to have the bucket name. So what did we name the bucket itself? As you can see, if we go back towards buckets and let's make sure that this is all being set. Okay, so this is all being set. We can go back towards buckets and we can just copy and paste this bucket name. Last but not least, we also need the region. The region is actually inside of the endpoint as well, but you can also find it inside your account by going towards my settings. And from here, you'll see data is stored in region US East. So let's just copy this part and fill that in as well. If we press save now, we should get a verified status. So let's take a look. And we actually do not. So we get a field status. So let me just troubleshoot this and I will come back to you after. So inside the bucket it is also important to mention that the files in the bucket are set to public. As mentioned, for some reason I did not update this. So let's just go with update bucket. And let's try this again. 
And there we have it. We now have a verified status. So now that we integrated with S3 storage, we are now able to go inside the flow builder and upload any files. All those files will then be uploaded towards the storage as well. So let's take a look at how that works. So I have a flow, really simple flow, just called S3 storage. So let's just upload an image. I already had one here, but let's do, do it from scratch. Let's go with rich media. Let's say image. And let's say I want to upload some for my computer. So let's go with an image that I did recently, a thumbnail that I uploaded on my profile yesterday, but I want to have that inside the storage as well. As you can see, this is now been uploaded. So if we're going to press save and publish, it will take a few seconds to pop up. Here we go. And now we should also see it inside the cloud storage as well. If we go back, however, and take a look from the image URL, you will now see that it is already using the S3 storage, right? So this is the S3 storage uh, URL that has been created. If we take a look at the bucket itself, if we refresh, we can go towards browse files. Then we are going to select our buckets. And now you will see that there is a folder that has been created called team. If we go inside this folder, you will see that we have a name called 95 and this equals your workspace ID in this case. So this is something that UJet provides. If we take a look inside, you will see that the upload is already there. So if we take a look now, you will see that it's already there. Sometimes if you have larger files, it could take a few moments to make it visible inside of your backend bucket uh, because it's uploaded by API and that might have some kind of caching issue. Or if it's a bigger file size, right, then we already have the image URL or the file URL, but it will take a little bit longer for it to show up inside of this storage. So this is one way that you can use it. If you have multiple files uploaded here already, so if I go, just go here and select a new file, so let's go with this one. There we go. And if I want to use this, I'm just going with the S3 URL. I'm just going to copy the link address and then go inside the select media file in this case for, for images. I'm just going to paste this in, press that, and then we should get that file as well. So everything from your browser, uh, basically from your bucket list on the back end, you can just grab the image URL and then use it inside of your rich media files. So if you have a video, you'll go towards the rich media video section. And for images, you will go towards the image section. So to be clear, every single file that is being uploaded soon as S3 storage has been integrated, all those uploaded files will end up inside of your S3 bucket. So in case of a media storage issue with UChat, your files are still safe and should still show inside the chatbots at all times. So with this integration, you are able to basically safely store your images, your other kinds of files like text files, PDFs, uh, video files, all directly inside of the S3 storage and be able to use them inside of your chatbot as well. So if you have any questions, do let us know and we'll try to help you out as soon as possible. Well, for now, have some fun trying this out. Have a great day, take care and talk soon.